Hello, this is White Hot Toddy, and uh, well, today I'm going to talk about uh, one of the weirder experiences that I've lived through in my life. Uh, freaky, if I may use that term. And, uh, you know, I'd rather just talk about it and document it and just keep it pent up inside, because seriously, I've been living with that, you know, I would call it a secret, pretty much, for the last, like, uh, you know, 12 years, so... Back in the, well, it's not 12 years, 10 years. So anyways, back in 2001, 2000, yeah, late 2001, I left the mining laboratory in Rouen with my then girlfriend. And um, we crossed Canada with my, my best friend, Louis. I'll keep that whole story for another video, which should be interesting. But anyways... I relocated at one point at Cultus Lake because in Chilliwack I found my birth parents. So that's another story that I, I should tell later on. So, however, when I was in, in, in Cultus Lake, uh, we rented a, a cottage there, a beautiful cottage on Pine Street. And, uh, well, I was pretty deep into my like research on globalization. And I was also really into the book, uh, The Biggest Secret by David Icke. And... Uh, the copy of The Biggest Secret that I had, there was a, a caption on it written, please, you know, uh, copy, please make copies at, at will, please distribute as much as you can. So I really thought that there was, you know, a real will at trying to distribute that book, you know, freely and openly. So what I decided to do to, to do my part in trying to distribute that information about, you know, well, you should look into it. I'll, I'll post the link uh, below. It's called The Biggest Secret by David Icke. Anyways, um, I wanted to make sure that that, that that book gets out, so I put it on eBay. And so that it would be discovered more probably, I uh, actually cross-marketed it with other items that were, you know, reptilian orientated, like a uh, dinosaur uh, CD rack or things like that that would attract reptilian lovers or, you know, uh, you know, I wanted more people to see it than not, let's put it this way. So, so uh, I have this, um, so I, I put this CD of, of the biggest secret on the internet and I put it for sale at like one cent and I just let people bid and on average they, they'd sell about five bucks which would probably, you know, cover for shipping, you know, so I wasn't looking to really make money with that. However, I received a warning from the publisher, David Icke's publisher. It was Royal Adams. So he, he tells me, like, in an email, he says, like, you got to stop, like, cease and desist because, you know, we're, you know, it's, we're proprietary of that information. So I was like, wow. I said, but it was written that I could share it. So, so he, like, I, I don't remember what exactly he said in that email, but, you know, to the illusion that I had to stop, you know, spreading that information. Like, well, not spreading the information, but selling it on eBay. So it's not a problem. So, however, I did a bit of research on Royal Adams, and I fell into, I went to his eBay account, and he had just bought a convertible sports car, like a really nice, like, older convertible sports car. So I was like, wow, you know, he's making good money with, you know, the biggest secret. So, you know, I wrote to him. I says, like, you know, it's nice car you've got there. It's like, I'm glad to see that, you know, you're, 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 you're so intent on trying to free up the world, you know, a bit of sarcasm. And he really felt bad because like, you know, he, uh, well, like, he, he answered in an ap apologetic way. And, uh, however, like, uh, you know, I did agree to, to, to stop like selling the book, but also at the same time, I sold a CD rack to this woman from Ohio named Linda Morgan, and uh, she actually uh, bought the uh, dinosaur CD rack, and she wrote me a, an email, and it's written in the email. She says, "Do not meddle in the dragon's affairs, because you are crunchy, and taste good with ketchup." So I get this warning from this woman, or it felt like a warning, you know, to stop you know, meddling in the dragon's affairs, and simul well, simultaneously, within the, the same day, and when I got that email, that was so freaky, anyways, I get that email by this person named Joe Paladin, and 
he wrote a book, and you can check it out. It's called uh, Answers to Everything. So he's he's a, he's an author, but uh, he says to me, he says, he says uh, you have been noticed. He says you are dealing in something that's way above even your understanding, a bit condescending. And he says, um, he says the dragon can fly from the highest of the mountains to the lowest of valleys. So. At that moment, I was like, wow, this is freaky. Royal Adams writes to me, tells me to stop. Linda Morgan, well, Morgan, that's a pretty, like, you know, bloodline name, elite name. Well, she tells me to stop, not meddle in Dragon's Affairs. And then we got Joe Paladin coming around and warning me, you know. So, anyways, I used, I used Linda Morgan's email address, and I did some some back uh, some back research and I fell upon this website where you've got all these people sharing just freaky information like seriously like, talking about you know it's not easy being green or you know uh, I love the face but I don't like the ears or anything crunchy and things like that and it's like wow what am I what I just fall upon and, and also oh yeah when I fell to that website there was like a phishing program that sort of like tried to latch onto my computer and well I really got scared on that one I, I was like whoo this is this is freaky who are these people you know so uh, I, I pulled out and <laughs> within about the same hour suddenly in the tree like next to my to my office is like hundreds of crows that just like gathered in the trees and and started like you know crowing all, all simultaneously and seriously I was pretty creeped out. I have to admit that if they were trying to scare me, if there's once in my life where I had like this, you know, feeling of fear, it was at that moment, you know, but ah, I got to overcome it over the years. But anyways, so, uh, you know, I told the story to a lot, a lot of people, but I just thought that, you know, I told it to enough people that now I could tell it on YouTube and, 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 and you know, and get away with it. So we'll see if I do, you know, and, uh, well, um, I love you all. Uh, thanks for listening, and have a really good day. Bye-bye.